What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Black Clover chapter 77 and last week um, we finally got a little bit of taste of uh, the uh, captain of Golden Dawn's power and we saw that he has the power of the Yggdrasil or at the end we saw the Yggdrasil come out of his grimoire and oh my god I'm so excited to see what it can do um and I still want to know um if the draw if that's just what his grimoire is in general if it is the Yggdrasil itself or if there's more to it than just the Yggdrasil and I want to know if how the Drossel was getting its energy, if it was a combination of the Earth and uh, the Captain's um, magic, or if it was, or if it was just the magic from the Drossel, or if if it was just the Earth and maybe the light, or life force. I I'm curious what you nerd can think about that. But anyway, let's get to the chapter. Yay! Yummy! Yay! So this is Sitten. So this is Sitten. Oh, look at that Yggdrasil. Oh, look how beautiful that is. The great magic tree pierces the sky. Whoa. Here's Aster. What's with that, this gigantic tree? Do all the plants grow like this out here? Does this, does that mean that it bears giant fruits too? Oh my God. Right now, you two be quiet. <laughs> I love Yami. Yami is just, Yami is just life. Yami is fucking awesome. Oh man. It, it, I, Yami is like, I swear, Yami's like my favorite character in this manga. He's <laughs> like the best fucking writing. Okay. This dialogue just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> this is most likely the gold chicken's magic. We probably shouldn't have come. Okay, from now on, I'm just going to call Golden Dawn's captain the gold chicken. <laughs> I love you, Yami. Even folks, I, I'm getting close to just calling him my manga husband. I love Yami so fucking much. What? This is magic? It's not too late to leave? It's not too late to leave. I'm, no, I'm going to check out the flow of the battle. The captain is likely at um is likely at the highest point. I'm going to check things out. You uh you three, help out the citizens, but don't die out there. Leave it to Yummy! Gwa, extensive damage, almost um all wiped out. Ha! The shining golden troll, uh, the shining gem, uh, troll generals are getting destroyed. Damn! All hail the mighty golden chicken magic! My men were almost completely beaten. Beaten? You'll pay for, uh, sorry, I gotta redo that. My men were almost completely beaten? You'll pay for that. Wow, to think that there was m this much mana swirling on this battlefield. Oh well, I pretty much cleaned up here. Okay, so we got um, so we got the answer from the golden chicken himself. So it sounds like the Drossel uses uh, or absorbs um, mana from um, uh, mana from people from uh, the enemy and the surrounding area. It, that's what it sounds like. And but the thing we don't know though if is is it a combination of the mana from the uh from the enemy and the golden chicken himself or is it just the man uh from the golden chicken's grimoire or is it just uh the mana from this from this enemy so let's see so you're the captain of the golden uh golden dawn so wait so you're the captain of the golden dawn i'll admit i underestimate uh underestimated you who would have thought that you had such crazy mana you have a nice mana uh well yourself but there's no need for you to lose it here take your uh, men and leave these lands so, okay, so it sounds like it is a combination of uh, Golden Chicken, well, Golden Chicken's mana and uh, the uh, mana of the enemy. It's a combination of it. But uh, the question is, is what, how much mana, is it like an even amount? I think it's more, 
of um, the uh, surrounding enemies mana that the Drossel absorbs. Because because remember what the Golden Chicken said. He said, aka Captain of the Golden Dawn. I'm just gonna call him Golden Chicken because I love Yami. I I, got, I just love Yami. I love it. I love how what Yami called him the Golden Chicken. Um, he said that um that there was a large amount of mana in the battlefield. Um, in the battlefield. So yeah, it sounds like that um the Drossel absorbed the mana in the battlefield. More a, lar a larger amount of mana in the battlefield. The word retreat is not in the vocabulary of the Diamond uh, Kingdom's armed forces. Red Ochre, make fiery arm, uh, armor cannon. What kind of bullshit magic is this? Did you use up all of your magic in, the la in that last attack? Then I'll... Woo! Oh, damn! What the fuck is the Drossel doing? You should feel honored. Your mana will now become nourishment for the kingdom of Clover. Whoa. So. So now there's another question to think about. A another question to think about. So. It may be. It might be a combination. Of. Um, you have to. Now you have to wonder. Did the golden chicken plant these seeds of the tree of uh, the drossel tree has the drossel tree been under uh clo um the kingdom of clover for a long period of time how long has the has the seeds been there how long has it been there has it been there like for years has it been there since he's like has he has it been there since he's gotten the grimoire has it been there since the start of the battle like how long has those seeds been there and like does and also because he said those um the mana it sounds like the mana is going to be for the nourishment uh, he said the man um the mana is going to be the nourishment for the kingdom of grimoire so what's going to happen after the tree like after um the tree is gone after the drossel tree is gone so like uh, or after the battle itself will the tree just like go back is it going to go back into the grimoire his grimoire or is it going to just go back under the city of clover because usually the drossel is like in a different dimension so i'm curious what you nerdigans think about that smoke a diamond amb a diamond ambush was he biding his time while hiding his mana yummy oh my god this chapter is freaking crazy Yummy, I'm butting in, golden chicken headed mask man. <laughs> I love you, Yummy. Oh man, golden chicken headed mask. Like, Yummy has the best fucking dialogue of this manga. God, Yummy, why do you have to fucking smoke? If Yummy wasn't, I might just get past the smoking, look past the smoking, because Yummy is. Damn, Yummy. I think I would love. <laughs> Love. Yami's a fucking troll. That hurt. I thought um, that if I could capture uh, the Golden Dawn Captain, we'd have a chance at turning uh, things in our favor. So I gave it my all. But who would have thought that the, that guy from that time would uh, would show up? Not to mention he's way more powerful than he was then. Don't leave uh, this old man in the dust. You owe me. Um, you owe me one vengeance. You really saved my. Uh, you really saved my hive. Your ability uh, key is pretty amazing. Now for the un unknown old man from the Diamond Kingdom. Would you just wave the white flag already? What? He doesn't remember me? I mean... Woo! I mean... So... Could... Hmm... Maybe we'll find out more about Yami's past. Because remember, Yami can't... Yami is not originally from Clover. Um... And we don't know too much about where Yami came from. So this, this is interesting. I'm knee deep in it now, but I shouldn't show then exactly how we of the Diamond Kingdom roll. Retreat. Damn. <laughs> Cowards! Damn, he didn't even bat an eye. Now then, since it's just the two of us here in such a nice spot, why don't we have a little uh, chat, Vengeance? Everyone, please evacuate this way. 
somebody is fighting it out with um, a guy from the Diamond Kingdom on their own. Juno! Oh, look at Juno! Go, Juno! Oh, man! Oh, man! I can't believe this bride is this damn powerful. This can't be happening. I'm one of the eight shining generals, the eight shining troll generals. I have to add that because, because remember, Julia said he's uh, that's just all they do is troll. Eight shining general uh, troll generals of the Diamond Kingdom. My beautiful magic will rip you to shreds. Beautiful, like hell. There's something like that on the battlefield. On the battlefield, out here, the better man will win. Oh, Judo got you there that was beautiful he beat him in just one hit i thought i saw a little shrimp out here that looked familiar exactly what are you doing out here aster um not to mention you're a wreck and you've been moving around so much you're covered in sweat i can barely look at you if memory serves me right he's the guy that was from uh, aster's orphanage that was recruited into golden dawn now he's looking down on us uh black bull uh, uh, black bulls and he's handsome to boot if you <laughs> if you're that beat up, it um, can only mean that you've gotten stronger once more. What? You're not going to beat me, Aster. Oh, is that the wind spear talking? Yeah, that's the wind spear talking. Or no, that's not the wind spear talking. I'm sorry, I thought that was. It's not. Juno is Juno is smiling. You're the one that got so damn powerful, punk. What a pleasant gust of wind. Sigh. <laughs> but I'll still come out on top. They acknowledge each other's powers um, because they're rivals. Damn, that was such a good chapter. We found out a little bit more about the Drossel. I wish we could have gotten to see a little bit more of the Drossel's power. And I wonder if, um, I don't know, who do you think is stronger, Nerdigans? Do you think... Golden Chicken is str the Golden Chicken Captain, aka Vengeance, is stronger, or um, or do you think uh, Yami is stronger? Because Yami saved Golden Chicken's ass. But um, what do you think they're gonna talk about? And what do you think that uh, the uh, Diamond Kingdom General, the aka the trolling gen one of the eight shining trolling generals, meant by he doesn't remember me? Who do you think he is? Do you think he could be um, related to Yami some way? Do you think he's his father, brother? Because he said, he, oh, he doesn't remember me from that one time. Who do you think he is? And also, what do you think is going to happen next chapter? Um, I, I think next chapter, I hope next chapter um, focuses more on the conversation between Yami and, um, and Vengeance. Also, um, I... I hope at some point, like, I kind of hope that we find out a little bit more about um, that guy from the Diamond Kingdom. Like, I want to know a little bit more. Like, what did he mean by that? That he doesn't remember me from that one time. I want to know what he, mean, he meant by that. I want to know who he is. It's really frustrating me. Who do you think, who do you nerdigans think he is? And I kind of hope, and I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get to see more of a fight from him and Yami. I really would have liked to see a, f a fight between him and Yami, but like something tells me later in the manga, uh, later in the manga, like maybe in another arc, um, we'll see. Maybe like I hope we get to see a f another fight between him and Yami, and um, and we'll find out more about him in another chapter. Either that, or maybe like after the conversation between Vengeance and Yami. Um, he'll come back and then we'll get to see a, like a fight between them. I, that's what I'm kind of hoping for because something tells me he just didn't want, part of me thinks the more I think about it, maybe he just didn't want vengeance to hear about it. And anyway, and um, what do you, like, I kind of felt like this fight, I, I uh, and what do you think's gonna, what do you think's gonna happen with the Drossel? I mean, we found, and we found out like a little bit more about it, that it, um, absorbs the mana from, um, from the enemies and we found that it absorbs the mana from the golden chicken aka vengeance but 
what do you think is do you what do you think is gonna happen after um where do you what's gonna happen with the Yggdrasil after that and when do you think the seeds were planted from the Yggdrasil do you think golden Ch uh, chicken was was trolling like do you think he's a troll he had the, it was all according to plan troll where he like planted it like a while ago or did he cut like or the planted the seeds for the drossel a while ago or did he just know or in his grimoire did he just have information about the drossel and just know that the tree was um the where the, the tree's location was just under the uh kingdom of clover because he did say in the chapter that um your mana is gonna be is going towards the nourishment of the kingdom of clover and what does it, he mean by that? The nourishment of clover. What does he mean by that? It's going to go towards, um, uh, like, um, the new generation. It's going to feed the actual magic of the people of clover. So more people. So, and that's how they get their magic is from the drossel. That actually is a good, that's an interesting theory. Do you Nerdigans think that the citizens of clover get their magic from the drossel? That's, um, that's probably in a dimension underneath the kingdom of Clover. That's an interesting thought. I want to know what you Nerdigans think. Um, think about that. Because, because that, because we don't know that much about the Drossel in this, in this universe. We only, I only know like a little bit based on uh, the mythology. And what did you think about the fight with, uh, with Juno? I'm, I'm just. The only thing that really frustrates me is I feel like this fight was just a little bit rushed, and I wish we could would have gotten to see a little bit more of uh, Vengeance's um, power, because like we did get to see a little bit of the Drossel, like we just don't know where it's gonna go. Cause like we, cause he was at the highest point of the tree, like how the fuck did it, but. How the fuck did he get to the highest point in the tree when he was, like, in a building? He was on top of a building, too. That's another thought. I probably jumped. Or flew. Yeah. But anyway, um, I'd love to know your thoughts of this chapter. Did you think it was rushed? Um, how do you think, uh... Vengeance got to the top of the tree when he was like on the uh, he was like clear across town of a uh, clear across Ditton and also how do you think the magic of the drossel works and do you think it, the drossel because it would make sense if the drossel fed the um, citizens of um, uh, of clover because um, the golden acorns from uh, for those that don't know mythology the golden acorns um, from the um, the Yggdrasil have magic power and actually give the people that hold the golden acorns from that tree, um, they, it gives them magic power. So it would actually make sense if that's, if, um, if the Yggdrasil, uh, is the, is the source of all the, all the mana in the kingdom of Clover. But anyway, um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Also, if you want to, if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the expansion of Nerdigans Inc., um, you, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Um, Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. Also, um, uh, make sure you got Nerdigans follow me on Twits um, and follow my Von Live channel as well. If you, um, also, uh, if you got on uh, Sunday, I will be having a Super Kami Fantasy Guru live stream. Um, and you don't have to talk about fantasy football. <laughs> Um, with me if you don't want to. I, I'm going to be on there all day, so if you want to talk manga with me or anime or anything else, um, I'll be there starting uh, from 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 9.30 um, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and um, and you don't have to have a Vaughn Live account. You, uh, I have guest chat enabled, so you can chat with me and all that. And make sure you follow my Twitch channel and friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.